are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? guys so I'm working on a cattle panel structure I actually started it I don't even remember when I started it but uh, working on getting it finished should be done in the next couple days if Alabama would cooperate with this weather so flipping hot but uh, anyways working on a cattle panel structure because my baby bunnies are weaned and it's time for them to move into the rabbit colony except the rabbit colony currently has roosters in it so I am working on another uh, cattle panel house for the roosters so the roosters can come over here next to the garden and I know I know the roosters were supposed to go to freezer camp but you know I've just not been feeling up for it I just haven't and it's just been too hot I haven't wanted to deal with it and so at this point I'm just going to make this house for the roosters um, at some point I want to make a little yard for them and uh, yeah so it'll be here they'll be here for now so that I can clean out the other area sanitize it get it in on fresh ground and move the baby bunnies to that because they are ready uh, one of the babies actually went to a new home today uh, going to be breeding stock for a, another homestead here in northern Alabama so the other day I did a video and in it I was gathering bricks out of the woods and after somebody mentioned it in the comments of the video I realized I never included what I was doing with those bricks so this is what I was doing I have an area here where I'm basically killing all of the vegetation in the garden bed with uh, black plastic. I'm going to leave this here all winter. And I have landscaping staples holding this plastic down, but um, you know, if we get a storm or something, I want something a little more durable. So I got bricks to weigh down the edges. I'm still going to go get a few more so that I can put them down in the center too. And this is just to make sure that the plastic does not go anywhere. So that's what I was doing with the bricks. Hey guys, so I'm just sitting here at my co-op waiting for the guy to come with the, uh, the big old scooper to give me a scoop of mulch. Um, been planting some more trees and blueberry bushes and all of that. I've been taking advantage of the sale that's been going on at my local, uh, my local Lowe's. 30% uh, off and then plus another 10% since we're military and so it's a pretty good deal. I've been planting peach trees and pear trees and blueberry bushes. You know they say that the best time to plant a tree is 10 years ago. The second best time to plant a tree is today. So if, uh, if we want to have fruit, you know, someday, got to plant those trees, get them going. So that's what I've been trying to do. Um, filling in that front garden area so that eventually we'll have kind of like a perennial permaculture food forest type area. That's that's my long-term goal. But uh, <clears throat> long term takes a long time for trees and stuff to grow.
morning everybody I'm on my way to Hillsboro Alabama and what am I going to Hillsboro for well every so often I do a run out here because this is where I get my feed you know when you make the decision to go non GMO um, sometimes that can be a challenge because most of the time what you find in the local you know uh, farm supply store is just traditional standard feed and uh, when you want non GMO you gotta work a little bit harder for it so every so often I make a little trip here and I get a big old load and uh, <clears throat> that way I can feed my feed my animals the good stuff. 